When I think of a longer life, I don't think of it as sick and dying. I think active, vibrant, free of disease and limitations. This is the mindset we want to have when comparing animal and plant protein, and which will allow us to live the longest life free from age-related disease. Things like sarcopenia, osteoporosis, cardiovascular disease, and cancer are all associated with aging. How we eat makes a difference too. We can choose to eat a healthy meat-based diet or an unhealthy one. The same is true when it comes to plant-based. They studied over 100,000 people who ate plant-based and found diets that emphasized less healthy plant foods were associated with a higher risk for coronary heart disease. These unhealthy plant-based foods were things like juices, sweetened beverages, refined grains, french fries, and sweets. When it comes to meat-based diets, one of the most unhealthy things we can consume is processed meat. The World Health Organization classifies processed meat as a Group 1 carcinogenic, stating that there's sufficient evidence from epidemiological studies that processed meat causes colorectal cancer. These types of studies are not the best, but when it comes to food, in most cases, they're all we have to work with. Sarcopenia is age-related muscle loss to the extent that it lowers the quality of life and leaves us vulnerable to falls, fractures, and cardiometabolic diseases. Animal proteins better stimulate muscle protein synthesis because it's a more complete protein with all the essential amino acids. Plant eaters can offset this deficiency by eating more and a wider variety of plant proteins, including peanuts and lentils. These are high in leucine, the most anabolic of all the amino acids. Another place where meat eaters have the edge is bone health. A study published in 2020 compared meat, fish eaters, vegetarians, and vegans finding that compared with meat eaters, vegans had a higher risk of total hip, leg, and vertebrae fractures, while fish eaters and vegetarians had a higher risk of hip fractures. They attributed this to vegans having a lower overall protein intake and lower calcium levels. So if you've chosen to eat vegan or vegetarian, you might want to increase your protein intake and consider calcium supplementation. When it comes to cardiovascular disease, whole food plant-based diets have been shown to reduce heart disease risk. Meat-based is more controversial, especially with red meat. This is particularly because many studies include processed meats and red meat together, and these should be looked at separately. After doing this, one meta-analysis found that processed meats and not red meats are associated with coronary heart disease and diabetes mellitus. Fish intake is also associated with a reduced risk of coronary heart disease and stroke. It's worth mentioning, we should always buy the best quality of food we can afford. Grass-fed beef will be better than grain, and ocean-caught fish than farmed. Chicken is interesting because pasture-raised is better than free-range, which should be better than conventional caged chickens. There's been no connection found between poultry and increased heart disease. I did find a study review that compared long-term health of vegetarians and vegans to non-vegetarians. It looked at obesity, diabetes, heart disease, and cancer. I would say the review gave a slight edge to vegetarians, but in the end it found overall mortality is similar for vegetarians and non-vegetarians. So what does all this information mean? The majority of us are omnivores, eating both plants and meat. What they're finding is that there's advantages and disadvantages to both. To get the most out of our diet, we need to get our protein from a wide variety of different sources, including both meat and plants. But what about supplementation? Is there anything we can take that will extend the length and quality of our life? Watch this video next to find out. And keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.